somebody excited is in church this morning. I don't even know where to start. Praise God. Where do I start? <laughs> Amen. God is awesome. I will, I will do everything possible to preach a very short message this morning because I could sense the atmosphere of, pray, of praise and I think what God deserves from us is our praises our thanksgiving and our dance. God has been doing marvelous works in our midst. Look at all these testimonies that we received this morning. All of the four testimonies. These are confirmations that God is in our midst. Somebody sent a message to me in the course of the week. Let me read out the message. He said, good morning, daddy. My family is blessed with a baby girl this morning. He said, mother and baby are doing well. Thank you for heeding the call. I am one of the first and beneficiary of the anointing. The breath of God's message work wonders in my life and family, sir. When the testimony about someone who listened to the message and put to bed came, I said, this is also my experience. My family will be forever grateful, sir. Now hear the testimony. This young man just joined the church listening to that testimony and then the wife was about to give birth there's a side of the testimony that I'm not going to share yet I've shared that with my wife very mighty but this one he said we had CX during the delivery of my first child and she had been scheduled for the same again I said to myself no it is not going to happen. I told her, whatever it's going to take, we are going to deliver, we are not going to deliver this baby through CS. I directed that they put the message of the breath of God on auto play beside her. And as the message was playing, to my surprise, she gave birth. He said, this was the fastest dilation ever without induction. As the message was playing, that young man said, I heard that message, I heard that testimony. I went straight, he came to me, he said, I went straight to the media people, demanded for the message, and when the doctor said, no, this is not possible, she can't, we just have to operate on her. He said, he told them, he said, no. Put this message on autoplay. And let the message continue to preach. I will continue to roll. And let's see if the breath of God will not take delivery of this child. And true to God's war, said the fastest ever. Is God not working in our midst? Somebody lift up your hands and lift up your voices. And can we praise God for this moment? Let's say thank you, Jesus. Oh, all praise to you. We say thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you. Thank you for your work in our midst. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for the encounters. Blessed be your name. 
in Jesus wonderful name we have prayed I'd like you to look at your neighbor and just do this to your neighbor you are welcome to service do it to another person you are welcome to service the Lord bless you can we clap your hands together to Jesus be seated in God's presence Please get set. We are still going to dance. Praise team. Get set. All right? All our instrumentalists, get set. All right? Just as I'm, pre just as I'm preaching, keep placing your hand upon your head for anointing. All right? Aha. Uh -huh. All our dancers, thank you so much. You really... Praise God. That was a dangerous dance. Pray that was a dangerous dance. All right? That was a dangerous dance. I, I, I really wanted to do that this morning, but. <laughs> except if I will break. But I'm still waiting. The second part, I will. Let me, let me share this very message very. In fact, I will cut some things so that we can create time to praise God and bless God. All right? Are you excited you are in church? Yes. Wow. Faith for preservation. Faith for preservation. Somebody hear me. You'll be the first person to clock 100 in your family. Can I declare the word of God to you as it's coming to my heart? As you grow old, so shall your strength be strong. I'm hearing something. I want to decode it well. As you grow in age, you will grow in blessings. Faith for preservation. Divine preservation is one of the greatest need of our time. Divine preservation is one of the greatest need of our time. Insecurities of lives and properties are everywhere. It's everywhere. People are just dying like water. You just hear news of death here and there for no justifiable reason. We need divine preservation. Listen to me. As the redeemed of the law, we are not supposed to die the way they are dying. I saw in my Bible there's a kind of death that is only permitted for believers to die if they should die. And that's what the Bible called the death of the righteous. You know the meaning of the death of the righteous? Check the Bible. Time will not permit me. I want to be as fast as possible. Check all our fathers of faith before they die. Bible says, when it is when they have advanced in age. And then before they die, they now call all their children and their children's children to surround their bed. And they start telling them what will befall them. And then after they have said all those things, they will just sleep and go. That's the death of the righteous. Accident is not the death of the righteous. If you are a righteous man, you are not supposed to die anyhow other than the death of the righteous. So the day I will die, my children will be at my bed's surroundings. 
and my children children and guess what at that time when we are stricken in age advanced in age myself and my wife we just go just sleep together and go there's no cheating there's no cheating we are not leaving each other there's no cheating when we are fully advanced in age we have handed off we have handed to them the gospel and the Christ we have and we also hand to them the prosperity that God has given to us and then we say bye bye to this world that's nothing earlier than 100 except if we review the constitution and you know I've told you before I've been praying because I understand I've read my bible he said there's not going to be marriage in heaven thank God you know why God said that if there's going to be marriage in heaven Solomon and brother David and God said these people I don't know where Solomon got that strength 300 wives and 700 concubines I don't know where he got the strength 1000 and God I believe God thought about it that if you if you handle the heart like this don't come and destroy heaven for me and interestingly, some of you are bearing Solomon. I hope your Solomon is not like that. God said there's not going to be marriage in heaven. Yes, I agree. But I've been praying. God, let my house, my mansion be beside my wife's mansion. So at least when I peep from my mansion, hello dear. Somebody, I'd like you to shout it. I can't die young. I can't die young. Preservation is needed. If COVID 19 is not killing them, then a mysterious sickness will be killing them. Have you not heard? If it is not a mysterious sickness, then they will say it is the bandit. If it is not the bandits, they will say it is the terrorists. Now we don't even know the difference between the terrorists and the bandits. If it is not the bandit, it is the kidnappers. If it is not the kidnappers, it is the headsmen. All kinds of death is just working around all the nations of the world. Listen to me. In case you are thinking that oh, we have policemen, even they are robbing police quarters now. The other day I watched a clip. Robbers were robbing in a place and the policeman quickly changed clothes. That is the policeman that should guide, that should except the Lord keeps the house they labor in vain that watch it your preservation is not in the hands of your night guard in fact if you are not careful your night guard will kill you Today, wickedness is all over everywhere. Everywhere. We have civilized witches now. Do you know? But you see, in a time like this, I think wisdom demands that we look up to God 
for our preservation. Psalm 121. Give me that scripture. Psalm 121. Psalm 121. Please, media be fast. Beginning from verse 1. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord, which made the heaven and the heart. Let me say this as a word of prophecy for someone that is ready to receive it. Kali Parus Ende This year, 2021, God will help you mightily. You know what God told me when I was stepping in this year and he reminded me just two days ago. He said, son, I will help you and the world will see that I am the one that is helping you. I decree, someone under the sound of my voice, this year, God will so much help you that the entire world will know that God has helped you. The one that is going to make the one that is going to help you is the one that makes the heaven and the head. Go on. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee. So there is somebody that is keeping you. In case you don't know whether you are conscious of it or not, there is somebody that is keeping you. You may not have money to pay for an escort, but there is somebody keeping you. And then the scripture will begin to define and reveal the identity of the one that is keeping you and I. He said, E. Oh, Jesus, give me that scripture again. Please move at, the face, at my pace. He that keepeth thee, verse 3, verse 3. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. I wish you can come out around 3 a.m. and see the night guard you are paying. How the man is fast asleep. The other time, some people came out and they saw the night guard they are paying and they carried the gun. He won't wake up. And the following morning, he was not looking around for the gun. That's the night guard. But the Bible talks about this man that is keeping, he said, he will not slumber. He will not slumber. His eyes will not blink. Somebody say, Praise God. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee again will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord. So your keeper is not the policeman. Your keeper is not the military man. He said your keeper, the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is thy shade. Ha, upon thy right hand the Lord is thy keeper the meaning of that is whatever cannot tamper with God cannot tamper with your life the Lord is thy keeper any bullet that cannot hit God cannot hit you the witch that cannot kill God cannot kill you the Lord is thy keeper the Lord is thy keeper the Lord is thy keeper I can't tell you how many things God has kept me from. The Lord is thy keeper. I remember many years ago, I was in the primary school and then I went now, I, I, I used to, I think this locker, there's this locker we use in school and then this family person took the locker and took the locker to somewhere called Oko. And incidentally, my books were in the locker. So my mother said, okay, go, go, go and go and, like, you have to travel to Oko and get the man and get your books. Because tomorrow is Monday. How do you go to school without your books? 
And so, and because of the closeness of this person, my mother believes so much that when I get to the person, it will probably bring me back to Bumosho or pay my transport fare or something. He is very, very close. And so she only gave me the transport fare to go. And as I got to the place, the man looked at me, treated me somehow. It was bad. And told me I must sleep in that place. And guess what? It's a bad place. It's a bad place. And said, I said to him, I said, I can't sleep here. I just have to return back. In fact, my mom is waiting for me. And the man said, if you want to go, then go. I said, I don't have transport fare. He said, I don't care. Die if you care. A young boy. And I left. And I stood beside the road. I'm telling you true life story. I stood beside the road. And I said, God, make a way for me. Take me back to Ogumosho. I've not finished that word. And a car had parked. And he called my name. He said, get into the car. I couldn't even think about anything. I just got into the car. And he took me to Obumosho. When we got to this Obumosho grammar school, then he asked me about my mom. He said, how's your mom? I said, she's doing fine. And then he asked me about your younger, my younger brother. How are your younger brothers? And he started mentioning their name one after the other. And dropped me very close to the house and gave me money. See, God is more real than what they told you. More real. And that God is your keeper. Is your keeper. Look at that scripture. Oh Jesus, time is already going. Verse 6. Verse 6 of the same scripture. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. So the moon and the sun has killed some people. I'm showing you mysteries this morning. The moon and the sun has killed some people. It was not the witch, it was the moon. It was the sun. Verse 7. The Lord shall preserve thee from how many evil? I can't hear you. No. I can't hear you. No. He said the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Family evil. Coronavirus evil. Bandit evil. Kidnappers evil. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. And thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. I think somebody will say a louder amen to that. Yes. The meaning of that is every time you step out of the house, there is guarantee you will return. There's a guarantee that you will return. That's why the Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 8 verse 6, 2 Samuel chapter 8 verse 6, the Bible says, Then David put garrison, gar garrisons in Syria of Damascus, and the, Syria, the Syrians became servant to David and brought gifts. And the Lord preserved David whithersoever he went. Somebody say amen to this. From today, anywhere you go, God will preserve you. I said, anywhere you go, God will preserve you. With us, however, the Lord preserved David. If God can preserve David, how much more you? David lived under the old covenant. You are living under the new covenant. David was not redeemed. You are redeemed. So if God can keep David, if God can preserve David, then God will do much more to preserve you. He will do much more to preserve you. 
quickly let me show you your covenant keys to preservation covenant keys to preservation I want to end this on time that's why I'm rushing your covenant keys to preservation number one redemption redemption is what guarantees your preservation redemption look at Hebrew chapter 6 verse 9 redemption guarantees your preservation but beloved we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompanies salvation though we don't speak there are things that accompany salvation one of them is preservation salvation is just an entrance to the world of divinity preservation follows salvation Preservation is one of the packages of salvation and redemption. So if you are redeemed, then you are supposed to enjoy the benefit of preservation. But guess what? We don't know. That's why the devil is cheating us. We don't know. And in this kingdom, everybody will pay for their ignorance. We don't know. Do you know what? The day you gave your life to Christ, what happened in the realm of the spirit is God paid for your redemption. God paid for your untimely death. That is the meaning of redemption. So as a born again child of God, you are not supposed to die the way they die in your family. Because your case is different as the redeemer of the Lord. You are not supposed to experience what they experience. The scripture says, it said, we were bought with a price. They are dying like chicken. You are not supposed to die like chicken. You are supposed to live long. Redemption guarantees your pre That's why every time you are moving out of your house, move out with the consciousness of the fact that as the redeemed of the Lord, I'm not permitted to die anyhow. As the redeemed of the Lord. That's why those times when I travel in the public transport, you know in the public transport all kinds of prayer exist. Some people can pray for 30 minutes. Inside the prayer you can see fear. Inside the prayer you see all kinds of discussions. God you see, three days ago, some people passed and we heard the report that they killed them. Lord, this one that we are going, it is possible they still stand on the road though, but you know, God, look at my father's father. <laughs> that is prayer. Do you know that the prayer of fear can even make... <laughs> If will happen. I'm always very conscious. No matter what happens in this car, I'm exempted. And in fact, because I am in this car, nothing can happen. There are times that I step into those public transport, I will find a way. When I step into that and I see, I send some evil and some. What I do is I find a way of going to the steering, touch the steering, and make a declaration. Holy Spirit, I take over the steering from this man, hand it over to you because this man may be drunk. As 
the redeemed of the law, you are not permitted to die anyhow. One day I had a dream. Somebody shot me in the dream. And I woke up. I said, the fact that I woke up, ah, there's problem. I must sleep back. There must be part two to this dream. There must be part two. You see, there are, some, there are many of you, you have one dream, and you, are, you wake up, and you are looking for the pastor to call. My friend, that is not the way out. The fact that you woke up, Kalapa Yadaba, you have made a mistake to allow me to wake up. I will sleep again, and there must be part two of this dream. You must come back again because you shot me with a pistol. Me, I'm carrying AK 47 now. There must be part two. You had a dream. Somebody brought a food to you. And you had the food and you woke up. You, you, you felt in your mouth that you just finished eating. My God, don't you know they just paid for your food? They just paid for your food. Do you know how much they are selling a plate of rice? My friend, stand up and say, Father, thank you. You have said that you will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have said that strangers will feed me. Now they have fed me with rice. But I think I need more. This time around, what I need is demo and obegusi. Bring it again and we eat it. Because the scripture says, we shall eat poisons and deadly things. And it shall by no means harm us. When they see you operate in that realm, they say, this one is just eating our food. My friend, let's go to another one. They will leave you. The reason why they are bringing it is because when you woke up, you say, ah, Jesus, ah, I've eaten again. My friend, eat more. Let them pay more for your meals. Eat more. Eat more. No food can kill you. He said, he said it. He said, you will eat poisons. He didn't say you may. He knew at one time or the other they will bring it. You will eat poison. You will eat deadly things. You will tread upon snake and sapient. He said, by no means. By no means. Shall they harm you? By no means. By no means. Shall they harm you? You are born again and redeemed of the Lord, not to die a useless death. Can I prophesy over your life? He said, with long life, shall I satisfy you with long life? Somebody under the sound of my voice, the Lord will satisfy you with long life. You know the meaning of when a man is satisfied, when a man eats and is full, and satisfied when you bring food again, is just looking at it. The meaning of that is before you die, you will have been satisfied with life, and you now tell God, God, it's a That was why Paul was saying, I don't know whether to go or whether to remain. I don't know. I don't know. Not everybody can die anyhow. The redeemed is not supposed to die anyhow. You shall not die, but live. To declare the glory of the Lord. That's what he said. Somebody can you roar it loud and clear. I shall not die. Shall not die. Okay, change it. Say, I cannot die. Shall not die. Look at your neighbor. Say to your neighbor, say, neighbor. neighbor. In case you don't know. Yes, I am telling you now. I cannot die. Until I'm 100. I cannot die until I see my children, children. Uh -uh. Forget it. Forget it. I was reading the scripture. The Bible says, they will die in your place. Uh -uh. Number two, we must dance. The covenant key to your preservation, number two, the word of God. The word of God is your covenant key to your preservation. The word of God. Somebody say the word of God. Say it loud and clear. 
many of you, you are not reading the word of God. Ah, I pity you. Now, you are not reading the word of God. Number two, you are not going to a church that is grounded in the word. Double tragedy. <laughs> Number three, when the word of God is going on, you are browsing. Triple tragedy. The word of God is the seal of your preservation. The word of God is the seal of your preservation. Hear this. The only thing that can tamper with your life is whatever can cancel the word. The only thing that can tamper with your life is whatever can cancel the world. <laughs> Let me show you two scriptures. Then after showing you the two scriptures, I'll just tell you what to do. And then I'll finish my message. Who? Is somebody excited? Yes, Let me see that excitement in your shout. John chapter 10. Verse 17 and 18. You know, God showed me this scripture. <laughs> when one day some of you have told you the story personally and I think I've said it in the church a number of times one day I slept, I had a dream and I had a dream that uh, they were doing the burial ceremony of my enemy and I was there I had that dream and even in the dream I was crying that ah ah Is it that I've gone like that? And then I woke up with that tears. And just as I woke up, my wife, who was sleeping on the same bed, woke up again. And, my husband, my husband, can you imagine the two of us at the same time? And then there was darkness. So she was looking for me. Like my so the moment she touched me, I was like, What is happening? So she told me, said, No, you have not died, you have not died, you know that, you know that. And so I was like, ah. So inside of my heart, I said, Jesus, am I going like that? <laughs> that is not a coincidence. The devil meant business. Two people at the same time, husband and wife. So I asked her, I wanted to, be, I wanted to confirm, what do you see? He said, I saw that your enemy died. I said, it's not me. <laughs> it can't be me. And then I told her that morning, I said, we are fasting now. How we stay at home? Go to your work, but we are fasting. And then we began fasting. She left for work. I was praying inside the house. Nobody wants to die. Nigeria is bad. Nobody wants to die. If I, initially I was thinking that maybe, maybe I should go home and rest. Somebody told me, which rest? What have you done that you are resting? Maybe heaven is good. Oh boy, heart too is good. So I was praying, God, I cannot die like this. No. And then, as I, don't forget, I was fasting. And then, as I was praying, the Holy Spirit just brought this scripture. He said, This is the good day. <laughs> Hey! Some of you, you don't know the good day. What's the meaning of that? What's your spend date? And I look into that scripture. When I saw that scripture, she's here. I call her. I said, Go and hit. Go and hit. There's no death anywhere. 
Therefore does my father love me. Jesus speaking. Because I lay down my life that I may take it again. No man take it from me. Somebody say no man. Nobody can take your life from you until you release it. No witch, no wizard, no babalawo, no mamalawo, no man born out of a woman can take this life from me. Jesus said, no man can take my life from me. He said, I have the power to lay it down and I have the power to take it. If by mistake I laid it down, I take my thing back. You can't take it. I saw this scripture. I said, nobody can, no bullet can take my life. No man. No man born of a woman can take my life. Somebody say it clear and boldly. No man can take my life. Say it loud and clear. No matter how powerful that witch is, he can't take my life. No man. I saw this scripture. I said, go and eat. Nobody born of a woman can take my life. Nobody. That, until I lay it down. That's why all they did to Jesus, they couldn't kill him until he said, now I commit my spirit into your hands. Until he said it is finished. That's why let me warn you, all of you that a little, a little maneuvering of the driver. You say, ah, Otto. Don't kill yourself before your time. Just that the driver just entered into Porto. Hey, Mokuo. Don't kill yourself before your time. Because when you say it like that, you are laying it down. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Tell your neighbor, say, I can't die now. Tell your neighbor, say, look at me very well. You may not like me. You can't take my life. Nobody can take it. Including you. Until when I'm ready to release it. And I'm not ready now. Let me show you another word. Is God blessing you? Is God blessing you? Psalm 139. Who? Psalm 139 verse 15 and 16 from let's first of all read King James 15 and 16 once, I'm, once I do this one finish. you are not you have not received anything at all you have not received anything at all you are just starting aha uh -huh. My substance was not eat from thee. When I was made in the secrets and curiously, curiously wrought in the lowest part of the heart, uh -huh, thy high lead see my substance. Yet being unperfect, in thy book all my members are written which in continuance were fashioned and as yet there was none of them. Uh -huh. You don't understand because this is King James. Let me show you from the Easy English translation. Easy English translation. Look at this. Please look at this. I pray that God will open your eyes of understanding. He said, nothing hid my body from you when I was growing in the secret place. 
This happened deep in the head. Hmm. Pay good attention. Your eyes saw my body growing. Before I lived one day, you wrote in your book how long I should live. Before the first day I appear on the planet of the earth in Nigeria, Obomosho, is Aliora. Before the first day, you wrote in your book how long I should live. Listen, God already have in his book how long you should live before the attack began. So, how long you will live is not going to be determined by any other thing except the book. So, if you want to know how long you will live, where do you check it out? Where do you check it out? With the doctors? With the earth statistics and information, he said, You have it in your book. So it is in this Bible that you will check for how long you will live. When I saw this scripture, you know what I did? I now started checking the Bible. How long? What? date and year is written in the Bible. And guess what? I saw about four. And when I saw four, I said to God, I have seen four. He said, out of these four, now make your choice. I'll show you the four. And then you make your choice. Woo! It is in this book. So anytime death come, tell death that you don't have my death date in your hand. It is in the book. Do you want to know the years and the dates? I'll show you. Psalm 90 verse 10. Psalm 90 verse 10. I'll show you the four. You now make your choice. My friend, you make your choice. Give me New King James. New King James or or BB he or Oh. The days of our lives are what? 70 years. Number 1, 70. If you like 70, you can agree that once I'm 70, I can go. That is what is written in the book. And if by reason of strength, they are 80 years. Number 2, 80. 70 is in the book. 80 is in the book. 40 is not in the book. 30 is not in the book. 35 is not in the book. 69 is not in the book. What we have in the book is number one, 70. Do you want that? Uh huh. We have 80. Do you want that? He said, okay. Because by 80, we are just starting life. Number two, quickly. I don't have time. Number two. Psalm 65, verse 20. I'm, I'm doing Bible study for you. <laughs> Psalm 65, verse 30. We have number one, 
70. If you want 70, shout hallelujah. If you want 80, shout hallelujah. In fact, I reject it for you. Isaiah 65 verse 20. We have another one there. Because he said it's in the book. No more shall an infant from there live but a few days. I think somebody will say a good amen. amen. Oh Jesus, look at you. The meaning of that is none of our children will die prematurely. Amen. No, an old man who has not fulfilled his days for the child shall die how? When? Number 200 years. Uh -huh, I think uh, 100 years. So that's number three. 100 years. So you have a choice between 70, 80, 100. Don't be afraid. Somebody is saying, ah, by 100. Bible said the strength of Moses was not abated at 120. Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. That's number 4. Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. <laughs> are we there he said and the Lord said my spirit shall not strive with men forever for he is indeed flesh yet his days shall what shall be what 120 so you have 70 you have 80 you have 100 you have 120 pick one Let me show you another one. Let me show you another one. Look at Isaiah 65, 22. So when that devil comes in your dream, tell the devil, inside the book, no matter what you do. I'm not 100. Kwekwe. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another heat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people. So the meaning of that is if you still love beyond 120, number five. If you still want beyond 120. At 90, Baba Sadela married another wife. Doing God's work. <laughs> Somebody say it's in the book. Look at how this man is looking at me. That, huh? Is this thing in the Bible? It's in the book. He said, before I leave one day, the number of days I will live is in the book. And I've showed you five. The question is, which one did you pick? Write it down. Write it down now. Which one did you pick? Write it down now. Write it down now. Which one did you pick? If you need to consult your wife or your husband, you can consult in the spirit. Look at each other wherever you are sitting. Just look at each other. Don't worry. You will understand in the spirit. We pick 120. <laughs> we pick 120. Hey! 
Somebody shout it, I can't die young. Do you believe it now? What do you do? Number one, believe the word. Believe whatever the word says. Stop believing your dreams. Stop believing the threats of that stupid woman that calls herself a witch. What is written is more valid than what is happening. Don't believe that doctor's report. Believe the report of the scripture more than the report of the doctors. How can they say at 40 you have six months to live? Somebody say it's not written. I like what you say. Say it's not written. Say it loud and clear, it's not written. Say it loud and clear, it's not written. If you want to live long, say it loud and clear, it's not written. Say it again, it's not written. Whatever is not written cannot happen. It's not written. It's not written. Ah. You see, real prayer is what I'm teaching you now. Real prayer is not written. God, this is what you said. This is what you said. 17. I don't want it. Because you said you have laid before me life and death. Choose. Choose. Choose so I can choose. I didn't choose 70. I didn't choose 80. I didn't even choose 100. I choose 120. So number one, believe what the word says. Somebody say, believe it. Say it again, believe it. Number two, Job 22, 28. Job 22, 28. You will also declare a thing. And it shall what? And it shall be established. Number two, declare it. De- say it for every devil to hear. I can't die before my time. I'm not ready to go until I'm 120. Except if Christ come. Declare it. Now, your declaration is your access to your preservation. Your declaration is your access to your preservation. Declare it. Declare it. All you need to do as you step into that commercial vehicle, I mean, whatever. Lord, this journey is safe and secure. We arrive at our destination. No evil is permitted here. I'm here. No evil is permitted. You see, all this religious prayer, Lord, as we are going now, you see, when we get to the port, first port hole, if any car overtake us, Lord, you know, just keep us, just, uh, I don't want to die. You see, they are religious prayer. Forget it. Declare it. As a light in this car, no darkness. No accidents, for it shall go before me and make a crooked way straight in. Lord, I'm still 25. I've not reached the date. Has God blessed someone here? Are you sure you are blessed? Oh my God, are you sure you are blessed? Let me hear it. I am blessed. You know what you will do? Stand on your feet again with a shout, I am blessed. blessed. Now, 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 now. I want you to look for seven people that you can make younger for. Walk to seven people. Wherever they are located, walk to them and tell them, me, I have 120. Me, I have 100. Whatever. Go to seven people. Declare to them. Declare to them. 
Declare, declare, declare. Woo! I have a good news for you. Is somebody ready to listen to this? I have a good news for you. As you grow older, your beauty will begin to show. I said, as you grow older, your beauty will begin to show. Those that are waiting for you to die prematurely, they will be shocked with your longevity. Ah. Ha. Ya 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 la da ya da la ya da ba ya ne ge ne ge ne bo shana ya da. Ella ba ya ga ba ye ge ne bo santa ya da ba ye ge ne. Ha ya da la da ya da ba ya ga la ba ya da ba ya da ba la de de de. Ha ya da. He la canto loco ti santa ya da ba. Now, listen to me. I'm hearing some things. You will never be a burden to your children. You will never be a burden to your children. Children, stretch forth your hand. Stretch forth your hand. You see, this is the reason why I'm calling. The Bible says, if I, God is asking me to have something to longevity, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Hear this. Suturia. In the next 175 days, you will become a confirmed millionaire. In the next 175 days, that car become your testimony. That property become your testimony. That breakthrough become your testimony. Receive the admission letter. Receive the promotion letter. Receive the letter that will change your status. Receive it. Receive it. Receive the help. Marato Shandalaba Yoko Seteria. Kalaparato Zakata Lakapo Zetoria. On this last Sunday in the month of March 2021, I stand as a prophet, bow my knees on your behalf. This 175 days, you will enjoy great air. You will enjoy great air. You will enjoy favor. You will enjoy favor. Listen to me. I was declaring last Sunday. I said here. Remember, I said it. I said somebody dropped a full salary for one month, and then God said I should bless him. I should bless her, and then somebody bought fan and the rest of it like that. And I was not. I was telling my wife. Nobody knew her identity, but I knew. And can you imagine? She dropped. An entire salary for one month. And you are asking, why did God bless her? And she's saying, it is horrent. It is horrent. It is horrent. Said, I got this letter. I got this. I got this. I got this. My God. For he has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. He has not called the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. I stand here as a privileged servant of God to make a declaration. This one seventy-five days, your story will change. I said, your story will change. Your story will change. In the name of Jesus. Hear this. In Katofa, Torifa, Mashata. Are you? Are, are you? Are you getting set? I'm doing what God is putting in my heart now. In Canton Dafato Rifa, right now, I had my hand to your hand. I had this prophetic hand to your hand, and I declare that same thing. This one seventy five days become visible in your hands, become visible in your hands. 
become visible in your hands in the name of Jesus wherever your voice has not reached I speak from this altar I speak from this altar right now from all places of the world may help us arise for your sake may help us arise for your sake may help us arise for your sake Shalabaya that battle that battle that you have fought and fought and fought and fought and fought and fought today now the battle is over the battle is over the battle is over the battle is over hear me if it alone is Danny Delia that height that they have concluded you will not get to I want to make this declaration over 21 people whose faith are very strong to receive it in the name of Jesus son you will get there and go beyond that places you will get there and go beyond you will get there and go beyond 21 people shout it louder hey, man. I said you will get there and go beyond. You will get there and go beyond. You will get there and go beyond. Woo! There's a lady here. I don't know why God is saying this, but he asked me to tell you, you will not be put to shame. I don't know who you are. He said I should tell you, you will not be put to shame. And lastly, as we go to dance and celebrate, let, come, 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 come. Daughter, come, 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 come. God bless you. No more tears. This is your year. Your year. Fulfillment of prophecies. Thank you, Jesus. Every good prophecies you have heard that has not come to pass. Every good dreams you have heard, you have seen that has not come to pass. In the next 175 days, I provoke the fulfillment of prophecies. And I stand on this altar to proclaim over the lives of everyone under the sound of my voice and those watching me online. I will not bury any one of you before your time. None of you will die prematurely. Amen. You will live long. Amen. You will fulfill the number of your days. Amen. Somebody, can you shout it? I cannot die. I, cannot die. Uh, I said, shout. I didn't say, say it. I said, shout it. I cannot die. I shall live to fulfill the number of my days. All parents in the house say after me, I will not bury any of my children. In the name of Jesus, it is done. All eyes closed before we go into Thanksgiving. All eyes closed, sun gets set, and just lead us into the giving and then whatever. Listen to me redemption, don't forget, is what guarantees your preservation. That's the foundation. You are here, you are not born again, you have not given your life to Christ. Please, can you place your right hand upon your chest and your left hand up to Jesus? Don't look at anybody. Yes. Thank you, son. Don't look at anybody. Place your right hand upon your chest and your left hand to Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I give you my life. 
I confess all my sins before you. Forgive me, Lord. With my heart, I believe. And with my mouth, I make a confession that you are my Lord and you are my Savior. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' mighty name. I pray today the hand of the Lord is upon you. You are saved, redeemed of the Lord by the blood of Jesus. Your name is written in the book of life. Very soon, the word will hear your voice for Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Are you glad? Are you glad? Are you excited? Can you shout again? I am blessed. I am blessed. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Be seated. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is joy, peace, and love in his name.